Hello, I'm Andrew Vermesh. Welcome. Today I'm talking about positive communication. Do you always know how other people hear what you're saying? Take these examples. Please do not take this as a criticism. This is important. I need you to be on board. There are many everyday phrases that are overused. Cliches, perhaps. And they can be irritating. You have been on the receiving end of these three many times, and you know what they mean. First, I don't like what you just did, and I'm going to attack you for it. Second, you're too stupid to recognise what's important, so I will have to spell it out for you. I don't really trust you. Negative phrases like this abound, and they're corrosive, the more so when you use them inadvertently. Every day, people criticise others for so-called hate speech, and we feel under pressure to be very careful about our choice of words. In this environment, it's not so surprising that the resultant stress leads to the occasional thoughtless phrase. Here are two tips for you. First, be positive. Here's an example. Your presentation was memorable because the misspelled words were funny. It made people pay attention. It might be worth doing something similar again, just occasionally. Positive feedback is stimulating. It produces happy hormones, endorphins. It increases the chance of a good performance being repeated, especially if your colleague is not aware of what they're doing well. Second, stay positive. Those warm feelings will be weakened if you go on to make a criticism. Never, ever mix positive feedback with negative. You wouldn't throw a ball for your dog then, beat him. Don't do it to your friends and colleagues either. It's always something interesting to learn when you really listen. And the more you talk about it, positively, the better life and work become. I wish you a happy tomorrow. Thanks for listening.